It's August 2nd, 2019, and the largest competitive Super Smash tournament ever is taking place in Vegas. Over 3,500 people flew into a desert city swarmed by locusts for a chance to win EVO 2019. Now, two days later, only eight players are left. In this video, we're going to take a special look at the undisputed best Super Smash Bros. Ultimate player yet, MKLeo. If you guys are interested in playing like MKLeo, then go check out his exclusive course on ProGuides.com using the description link below, or you can play with one of the pros right now by selecting a coach on our platform. Go click the description link below if you guys want to become the best Smash player you can. All right, now back into the video. Everyone in attendance, whether they went out in round one of pools or top 32, has their eyes on one man, Leonardo Lopez Perez, or MK Leo. The number one seed at the event is an 18-year-old who, four years earlier, was just making a name for himself in Mexico City. In those four years, he worked himself up to the number one spot in Smash 4 and then in Ultimate. When the day starts, he's in the loser's bracket. To win the whole thing, he'll need to beat two top players from Japan, the best player in Europe, and two of his top rivals in the US, Samsora and Tweak. For any other player, this would look like an impossible run, but for MKLeo, it looks like destiny. And all the way up to the grand finals, Leo is as inevitable and unshakable as destiny itself. 2-0 over Zachary. What have you done, Zachary? You can see it. Uh, yeah, Zachary just throwing out these back airs right above MK Leo, daring him to jump, but it's not going to matter. MK Leo knocking Zachary out of the tournament. 2 0 over Rido. Arson's out, and it's so scary. I'm going low, going real low. Another chance to get a stock, and he does find it with an excellent spike. Rido's not out of this just yet. Or, oh, well. Oh. 2 0 over Samsora. Make it back from this, she cannot. And look at what's going to happen. Oh, and he needs to get his feet on the ground. I'm surprised if Kaleo didn't stand down and go for a forward smash, but he could get this edge guard right now, and he will! <gasps> Sam Sora! And 3-0 over Gluttony. Need something not. huge. Great spot dodge getting out of the way, but the drag down is here, and oh! he needs to follow it up. Just gonna stare into his eyes deeply and darkly, man. Stay away from MK Leo. I think he wanted to go for the down smash, but he wasn't sure if it was gonna hit, but he knows it's gonna hit. It all leads to the grand finals, and to the tournament's second seed, MK Leo's longtime rival, Tweak. This will be the biggest moment of an already massive career, but it's not going to be MKLeo's biggest moment because it's a big win. This is a competitor who already has big wins in Smash 4 and more wins than anyone else in Smash Ultimate. Before this tournament, Leo had won three major tournaments and beaten all of his demons, Mars, Samsora, and Tweak, one after the other. Before EVO Grand Finals, Leo had won with four different characters, Ike, Lucina, Wolf, and Joker. So, no, this will not be Leo's biggest tournament because it establishes his status. This will be his biggest tournament because it solidifies the kind of player he is. On the biggest stage against his greatest rival, under the most pressure, Leo must adapt. And he always does. But how did MK Leo become such a force? How did he become so powerful in the Smash scene that the community started rooting for him to lose even just once? Simply put, how did Leonardo become Leo? For most people, their careers start in their 20s, but for MK Leo, it started when he was eight years old at an anime convention in Mexico. That's where he would go on to win a brawl tournament. It's hard to imagine MK Leo as anything but a born competitor, one of Smash's destined greats, but for MK Leo, it's experience and practice that gave him his edge. MK Leo started playing at six or seven alongside with his coven Javi, another one of Mexico's best players. For MKLeo, Smash joined his family as soon as he picked up the controller. When he was young, Leo's family supported his passion. His first ever sponsor was his own brother who took him to tournaments. The MK in his name stands for Monster Kingdom, the name of his brother's store. By the time he was a teenager, MKLeo would turn that situation on its head. He'd be the one to support his family using his winnings to help with their financial situation. It would all start in 2016. By the end of 2016, if you didn't know the name MKLeo, then you were about to learn it. It started with a win over Nairo and a close loss against Zero to get fifth at Gommel 2016. Then it exploded into a win against Mr. R and DeBuzz for a first place finish at Smash Factor 5. Even though he was still just a hidden boss that had barely started traveling, Leo knew that he was a top competitor and he wasn't afraid to call his shot. Top five in the world? Five 
or three. <laughs> three. <laughs> All right, you heard it here. Uh, MK Leo considers himself top five or three in the world. It took him about three months to prove it. At Zero Saga, he would go on the first of many iconic losers runs and beat Komo Rikeri. Leo's gonna burn it first. Komo, can you get the early stock with the Limitless Cloud right now? Yes, that's what his win condition is. Wait, I'll tell you guys Battle back to it, MK Leo, 3-0 over Komo Rikeri. DeBuzz, nearly 133. And it's like again, him that, you know, that that's uses, it. that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that uses up. Anti. Yeah, and he just keeps changing these timings. No, well, one minute you see him kind of rushing at this tempo. Wow. Oh, oh my gosh. And that is it. Void. This is scary. Yeah. Is that guilt? Yes, it is. Another yes, it is. 3 0. -oh. Wow. Larry Lur. He might just take it away. Okay. 40%. Roll MK. Oh, oh my, my god. god. This is up in his dash. MK Leo. He's chasing him. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. He's dead. He destroys him. He obliterates him. Oh, and one of the best players of all time, Gonzalo Zero Barrios. That perfect pivot. Oh, okay. zero. Beautiful fair. He is looking damage. This man is damaged goods. Yeah. Oh, no, no, he's dead. Oh, he turned it off. Is it? Don't look at me. Okay. Don't oh. look at me. The curse. If you guys want to play like Zero as well, we have an amazing Zero course on Pro Guides using the description link below. Go check it out. By the end of 2016, Leo was already a name to fear. Over the course of Smash 4, his name grew as did his trophy collection. He would go on to win 10 tournaments in 2017, cementing himself as one of Zero's biggest rivals. Following Zero's retirement in 2018, MK Leo became the new king of Smash 4 and Tweak became his biggest rival for the throne. That rivalry would carry on into an entirely new game, Smash Ultimate. When Ultimate first came out, it wasn't clear who the top competitors would be, but it wouldn't take too long before MK Leo started taking first place again. Leo won a tight 3-2 set over Samsora using Ike, and then beat several top players at Genesis 6 using a mix of Ike and Lucina. However, the early meta of Ultimate was a bit strange. The game was so new that a lot of characters and elements of it had yet to be optimized. In the early stages of the game, there were questions over how exploitable recoveries really were, and when to edge guard or ledge trap. Parries were way overvalued, and falling weak hit aerials and their combos weren't fully utilized yet. Ike, Wolf, and Lucina all thrived in that early meta, and at the start, these were the characters that Leo used to win. But as the meta developed, these characters got outpaced, and so did Leo. After a commanding win at Summit, Leo entered a slump. He got 7th at Prime Saga, losing to Light's Fox. Then he placed 7th again at Pound, this time losing to Salem Snake. Seeing the meta outpace him, Leo did something bold and committed to a character with the least info and optimization of any character in Smash, and that was Joker. Joker had just been added to the game, and while he immediately seemed like a solid high-tier character, no one could imagine the Joker that MK Leo would soon unleash. Leo transforms Joker. Joker transforms Leo. In fact, it's surprisingly easy to see just how much MK Leo pushed the boundary of this character. All you have to do is watch two sets. In set one, MK Leo washes out in Japan. On May 2nd, right after the two seventh placings, MK Leo went to Japan to train. He performed worse than he had all year, washing out on the shores of Umebura, Japan's premier tournament series. But it may have been just the best training he had all year, and it's the best example of why Leo is the player he is. MK Leo got upset early on at Umebura by a peach main named TKM. TKM was a strong regional player, a kind of player Leo usually beats in droves. But Leo not only lost, he got hosed. TKM's Peach two-stocked his Joker, forced him to go Lucina, then two-stocked his Lucina as well. Leo would then get knocked out of the tournament by Umeki, another Peach main, in another 2-0 loss. Getting double eliminated by Peach is one of the most painful experiences in Ultimate, so painful that it might have made Zero retire. The way Leo lost was particularly painful because it was clear that he didn't understand his character yet. The Joker Leo showed versus TKM looks almost completely different from what you see now. For most of the set, Leo fishes for stray hits and lands one or two hit follow-ups, usually off of a grab. Even the stray hits he's using aren't what he uses now. 
He fishes for neutral airs, forward airs, forward tilts, and up tilts. He'll overextend trying for a conversion that simply just doesn't work. On the defensive side, Leo looks lost against Peach's turnip edge guards. TKM harasses him with well-spaced aerials, and Leo gets stuck in shield and pressured to roll. MKLeo isn't proficient enough with Joker's specials to use them to zone and push TKM off, so TKM closes the distance for free and combos Leo relentlessly. To a degree, this was the early meta of Joker. This was a character with strengths, but one that hadn't won any big tournaments yet. But rather than drop his character, MKLeo adapted. Fast forward to August 11th, Chantilly, Virginia. It's the SmashCon Grand Finals. MKLeo faces the best Peach main in the world, Sam Sora. It's been about three months, and MKLeo is about to make Joker look broken, cementing the legacy of the Game 4 MKLeo that he started at EVO. First, MKLeo has found all new techniques he employs with ease. He's using up air to consistently create follow-ups at low percents and to confirm into a smash attack at high percents. But at that point, that's a common Joker technique. Leo has ones you'd hardly see elsewhere, like a weak hit neutral air into a forward air, and then leads into a juggle scenario where he gets a neutral air into an AHA, into back air, and deletes one of Samsora's stocks. Second, MK Leo uses every single part of Joker's kit. He uses Joker's counter to negate turnip edge guards and ledge traps as well to edge guard Peach. He uses the gun in neutral to add damage, punishing Samsora for not approaching him. He uses Aha to catch high recoveries and build damage. He uses every aerial and every tilt for mix-ups and follow-ups. By now, Leo knows Joker so well that he makes it seem like the character has no bad moves. Third, MKLeo knows the matchup and what he can do in it. Peach's biggest strength is her ability to punish mistakes and take over an advantage. Leo makes Peach less effective by waiting out her aggression in neutral and in recovering. He delays his arson recoveries until down tilts and turnips won't hit him, and he waits for Peach to approach and creates an opening. The change that you're seeing with MKLeo is adaptation, but this time on a large scale. Instead of the simple game-to-game -game adaptation against Tweak, this is Leo's grand adaptation to both a new character and a matchup. In a master class of adaptation, Leo uses all he's learned to make the same 3-to-1 stock comeback against Samsora. Leo starts off playing safely, but gets impatient and whiffs a forward air. Samsora eviscerates Leo for this, using Peach's incredible punish game to put Leo to 123% without getting touched. Leo claws back into the game to get some percentage, but Samsora dodges him, zones him with turnips, and kills him for dropping his shield too early. Now, Leo gets patient. He starts to approach with Joker's gun to prevent Peach from retaliating. He ducks under Peach's aerials and waits for his turn to punish. Then he pushes Peach to the edge, and as Samsora fights to reclaim his center, Leo shows insane knowledge of his character. He sees Arson activate, stopping Peach's combo, then lands a niche kill confirm, single hit neutral air into forward smash. In the next stock, Leo uses his best anti-airs to keep Peach in disadvantage and build percent. Now he knows what abilities can punish Peach for floating or pulling turnips. He also knows that Peach can turn around the game with a dash grab. So when he sees Samsora run at him, he spot dodges, and in an incredible show of matchup and character knowledge, he does the best possible punish, a forward smash. The game is now clearly even, and Leo carries the comeback through taking the last stock, two sets, and SmashCon 2019. After SmashCon 2019, Leo looked unbeatable. Leo had a special something that few other competitors had, a flavor to his play that made it look like the game itself wanted him to win. The way that he came back twice, both times down to his last stock during the last game of the tournament, made it feel like Leo was winning even though he was losing. Despite the gap always being so close, it still felt like Ultimate was Leo's game. But dominating the competition comes at a price. People started to root against MK Leo. He was too good. And at one major, people got their wish. For Leo, it's not the wins that define him. It's how he wins. It's why, even after losing two sets to Samsora at Shine 2019 and finally dropping a tournament, Leo remains one of the most feared names in esports. In a game like Smash, where there are tournaments every week, it's only natural a competitor falls. After all, every great takes a loss at some point, whether it's Muhammad Ali falling to Frazier, or Michael Jordan's Bulls failing to Isaiah Thomas's Pistons, or even Armada falling to Mango, or Zero falling to Nairo. 
Leo loses, but we still believe in Leo, even if some don't want to. We see Leo take an early stock with a back air or a gun gimp, and we feel what's coming in the air, just like we felt it when Armada got that edge guard or Hungrybox landed that rest. It's there, that mysterious force that gives all these players their narrative of victory, their indomitable energy. That mysterious force has a name. It's called Adaptation, and MK Leo is a master at it. So when you see Leo up there down 2-1 in losers and you feel the comeback coming on, you know why. It's not just luck. It's not just being born into a Smash family. It's not just an 18-year-old with a decade of experience. It's his keen, innate ability to adapt. It's a life or death force in the world of fighting games, and it's something MK Leo has mastered. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please click the sub button. If you guys want to get great at Smash, then click that description link below and head to ProGuides.com and get yourself a great coach right now. Thanks for watching and good luck on your road to pro.